Monday and it's quarter to 11 in the morning. I'm just about to sit down and watch the recently uploaded video which read like clockwork. The edit was flawless. Um, the export of it took just under five hours, uh, six hours. It was okay, it ran it overnight. Every time I set the alarm to check on it, it was a tick. There was no failure, it was um, a successful export. I checked it and it was satisfactory. Uh, then I uploaded it to um, YouTube using Chrome because it's an offset really. Uh, I'd already done the thumbnail, so I just in case of just uploading that at the same time. Then it gave me uh, an ETA, so I again set my alarm, went back to bed, and uh, yeah, my alarm went off, came up, it had uploaded okay. I'd uh, switched off the laptop. It's been resting ever since, so I went back to bed and I think around quarter past nine I was awake and sort of started my day really. So I'm just about to have my breakfast and watch said video.
All right, I've had the uh, chili con carne on toast and a mug of coffee whilst watching, I think, the last episode of White House Farm. So now I'm going to kick off the edit for a couple of hours and take a break for, I don't know, marmalade or sandwiches. I'm not thinking of breaking just yet. I have to edit more yesterday's video than the day before's. Let's just check that. After looking first. It's 20 past 3. And how many? Yes, I've got two days of vlogs to catch up on. I'm not surprised there was a 24 hour delay or a 24 hour export for one of the vlogs. Right, so I'm working on the 14th, which is Friday's video. Yeah. Right. Let's begin. It's half past ten on the dot in the evening and I've been editing away. I have taken a break but I haven't eaten. I've just I've rated my gaze from the screen for a couple of hours. I've not eaten, I've not watched TV. So now, oops, the edit is finished and it's currently exporting. I'm going to make a couple of sandwiches, hummus and mature cheese, a couple of crisp and a mug of coffee. And I thought to myself earlier, it's a Sunday. What is on TV later? And then I checked the TV guide and then I remembered it was it was part two of the pale the pale horse and funny enough I ser I did a search on Sky Q for the pale horse. Did I mention this before? And it returned Um, two results. One was this one I'm watching now, and the other one was a Miss Marple episode called The Pale Horse. And it's the same story. I think I'm. Did I mention this? It's the same storyline, and it's on ITV3. And I think it came onto the ITV Hub, the on demand. Or catch ups. I think it's the on demand service. It's not a catch up because it's, I think it came out years ago. It's the one of the Julie McKenzie Miss Marples. And it came back onto the hub a, a day before I did the search. As if ITV4 and or BBC have just released the dramatization, we've got one. Let's put it on the hub. They must know that people, when they people search for things on um, on their top set top boxes, that it's going to pick up. Yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm going to watch. It. I'm going to. I know. I know the story. Once I've seen episode two in a, in a few minutes. I mean, it started, um, actually it started an hour and a half ago, so I'm going to have to watch it on iPlayer. Uh, I think it's only a two, I think it's a two-parter, I don't think it runs on for weeks and weeks. So I think it ends today, mind you I could be wrong, but I'm sure I spotted that 
somewhere. Um, anyway, once I've seen this version, I'm going to watch the Julian McKenzie version and uh, see how it, it fares. So that's what I'm going to do now. I haven't got an ETA yet because it's, um, it's 57 minutes long, this vlog. This is the one where I had five or six attempts trying to export a video, a vlog out of video, out of DaVinci Resolve. And it was over a 24 hour time, <laughs> over 24 hours. It was quite remarkable, really, in a bad way. And of course, uh, I've, I haven't been using DaVinci since, ever since. Um, the subsequent vlog was edited and exported on Shotcut, and it, I think, it was the the latest vlog, vlog six hundred one, and that exported first time um, I thought that might have been a failure but there was no failure I think I might have mentioned it earlier today that you know I got up and it was okay and then everything went into how it should be setting the alarm to go, to go and sort of upload it and then another alarm to come and turn on the turn off the computer I remember saying that earlier it's been a long day already. So I think on ITV it's Endeavour, but I don't watch Endeavour. I've seen the rest of uh, White House Farm. I've seen Deadwater Fell. Um, the Outsider episode six, I think, is in at three o'clock tomorrow morning. But I'm Obviously, I'll watch it in the, later on. Um, in my break, Chili Con Carne break, I presume. So, uh, that's really it. I don't think there are any other shows. I keep thinking of Virtues with Stephen Graham, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I think it's a bit too, uh, too near the knuckle, that one. Mind you, he's very good in this uh, White House farm. He's uh, whew, an explosive force. He really gives a tour de force now. Just like he did in uh, The Irishman. Right, so next thing is to do is to leave this around. Avert my gaze from it for the rest of the day. Switch on the TV, see what's going on. I did listen to the news. Really bit my cheek saying that. I did listen to the news on the mini hub. And it's basically... Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what the headlines were. Oh, I think... I think somebody died in Wales because of these uh, of the storm that's happening now. Storm Dennis. In fact, at one point earlier, it was so loud that I thought there was going to be a power cut. So what you're hearing is quite quite mild to what it was, say, an hour or two ago. And that's about the only news I heard on the hub. Oh, I think, yeah, Caroline Flack. That was a sort of another headline. That was really shocking when I heard that. Right, I'm going to make a sandwich plonk myself down on the sofa and watch 
ペアルホースペアルホースファーム<笑>ペアルホースでペアルホースあっちポーズでペアルホース Because it's 10 to 12, and I thought I'd jump in at this point to say thank you for watching. And、uh, as always, hope to see you in the next one. The export is going to take 10 hours, <laughs> so I can, 10 hours without. An incident is pretty far fetching, but it's all plugged in, the battery won't run down, there won't be any jolts of electricity of me removing the power supply. but It's going to take 10 hours, so. <laughs>、um, well, we should have to wait and see and wait for the result in tomorrow's vlog. So, until then, au revoir.